<clears throat> Hi guys, my name is Matthias, and welcome to the best survival game on PC, Miscreated. Today I am going to be starting to teach you guys everything you need to know about Miscreated. The things that I'm going to be focusing on is spawners, and what I what I mean by spawners is where does great loot spawn and what kind of spawn locations you guys need to focus on to get the best gear and to save as much time as possible and to get geared as quickly as possible so that we use our time in the most effective way. So there's a lot of spawn locations on Orca Island but I will be only focusing on the spawn locations that you guys need to focus on and make notes of so that you don't waste your time to loot certain objects that you are not focused on. Like in the beginning, it's not a bad idea to almost loot everything, but as I carry on with this gameplay, we are going to be focusing on the spawn locations that lets us get to end game and to the best gear as quickly as possible okay now i've made dozens of guides on miscreated but this will be my final guide series and the purpose of this guide is to show you guys everything miscreated has to offer and in most of my guides i have joined quiet servers to have the freedom to show you guys everything step by step and not be bothered by players or too many players or that it doesn't really turn into a PvP situation. But for me to show you guys everything that Miscreated has to offer, I have to have all the elements on the server that I'm going to play with or that the server that I'm going to play on. And yes, my ping is not going to be the best, but for you guys that are in the UK or in Europe and America, primarily, you guys are going to have great ping, so your experience is going to be much better than mine. But we are going to focus on the very important things. Now, before you start miscreated, make sure that your volume of your headphones or your speakers are very loud, okay? That you can hear everything in detail and quite loudly. If your headphones or your speakers can't give you the loudness that you struggle to hear things sometimes, please go to your sound settings on your output device, your speakers or your headphones, and go to the advanced settings and then on enhancements, click the loudness, um, yeah, the loudness equalization to just pop that sound a bit more because sound in this game is extremely important and being aware of your surroundings will be the difference between life and death, okay? And then if you want a bit more bass, then of course you can activate the bass boost as well. It's going to give all the sounds a bit more oomph, but that is the most important thing. Now, when you start miscreated, then you've got various settings that you can go through, all right? You can go to my previous videos to see this all in depth. Um, but basically for the best performance and to experience the game in the best way, this is the best performance that you're going to get on an average to below average PC. Um, you can change the settings as you want, but as you can see, most of my things are on low. Motion blur is off, lens flare is off, and tessellation is off. Now, lens flare I put off because lens flare adds to the immersion with the sun shining in your eyes, and that's why we need sunglasses or aviators in-game. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't use lens flare. So yes, it might help you to emerge yourself much more, but it's giving you a disadvantage because the sun and stuff is going to flare in your eyes where you'll need sunglasses, but other people aren't using it giving them an advantage of course so that's dependent on you smaa 1tx gives me the best um kind of image okay if you go lower that SM smaa 1tx or disabled the edges of certain things you know are gonna um flash a lot you know and maybe bother you so that's dependent on you but you can leave everything on low the two things that i want you to focus on is having your particles on medium because there's airdrops in the game and if you don't put your particles on medium, you won't see the smoke um, signal that the parachute is giving in the air, okay? And you won't be able to see the smoke 
or the parachute and you'll miss it and these airdrops are extremely important for epic loot okay or to help you with your base building or to give you immediate weapons or hazmat gear they are extremely important so the reason why i'm putting my particles on medium and my view distance on maximum is that i can see these airdrops um as far as i can okay i want to detect them as soon as it happens because if the airdrop is close to me it's a very important thing to go for it you know when you aren't looted and if you are looted you know it's a great place to go and get some action because you're probably going to get into a pvp situation and there's airplane crashes as well which you're going to need to look up at the sky constantly and that's why your view distance needs to be at maximum as well to see the airplane crash sites happening and the airdrops happening to give yourself that edge to get to the best gear or to get into action okay so those are the most important things i want to focus on when you start the game please enter your name and say if you're a male or a female okay very important don't just be random survivor one or two you know give yourself an identity in the game that if you talk to someone they can remember you next time and on the servers we've got a bunch of official servers then we've got a bunch of modded servers okay I've spoken about this um, a lot of times, you know, there's servers for everyone's needs, doesn't matter what kind of gameplay you love. Um, your history is just going to keep track of where you've been, but the most important thing here is your favorites. Your favorites are going to be empty when you start playing. But what I want you to do is get a notebook, okay, because you'll get lost with these kind of things. Sometimes you're going to want to play on your official server with the best thing. Other times you're going to want to play on other servers with friends, okay? And then sometimes you want to play on modded servers to have a lot of fun, you know, because that's basically what modded servers brings into the game, okay? Except for my server basically just ends up you suffering most of the time. But um, yes, you want to add um, a server to your favorites if you start playing on it, okay? To keep track of your character, um, like if you died on the one server and you don't want to start over, it's good to come back to your favorites list with your notepad to every time you exit that server to say what you're busy with on that server. Okay, maybe you just you you're just focusing on building a base on a quiet server. Maybe you were quite geared with your friends. Okay, so there's various ways that you're going to play on each server, and it's a good idea to keep track of that. Because when you die and it's late at night and you don't want to, you know, start looting from scratch again or you can't get to your body, then it's very easy to come to your favorites and check on what server, you know, you're fully geared to still have fun with and then pop to that server. So the favorites is a very, very important way for you to keep track of the servers that you've played on and having a notepad just saying what, you know, what you're busy with on that server to experiment with different stuff and of course um, to give you that freedom to swap to another server if you're in a different mood okay and again there's so many servers and the modded servers you know gives you a lot of um, different playing experiences now again for me to experience everything um, and to show you guys everything in the game we're going to go to official servers because that's what most of you guys are going to play with now you can see um i'm from south africa because I've, i'm getting very low ping there and you guys if you're from america you're going to get very low ping at america and if you're from europe you're going to get very low ping on the european servers but because i'm going to play at the same times every day i need to pick the server that is the busiest on the times that i'm going to start recording okay basically to do that all i need to do is go to players and i see the usa I know the USA is, is too bad, so I can only really play on European servers. And the busiest European server at this time is Germany 5. Now, sometimes I'll be able to start playing earlier, you know, or later. So it's going to vary, but at least I know this is the busiest server on the times that I play. Okay, which will enable me to give you guys PvP situations. People will compete when I go for drops. And of course, I'll be building a base in dangerous situations because i'll be able to get killed at any point in time okay so that's the server that we're going to join okay we've just spawned into this server 
and yes just going to set my volume a bit because the storm is quite loud but yes we're very unlucky to start in a nuclear um, flash freeze there are two very dangerous storms in Mistrada that's a nuclear flash, flash freeze which you can see is letting my radiation go up and my coldness or my, my body temperature and then there's a radiation storm okay which are the two most dangerous storms but luckily we're hitting the end of the nuclear winter storm um, which is good so the radiation is a, isn't affecting our um, site very badly and yes so we can get started now right in the beginning okay what I want you guys to focus on is um, your map okay and always take your glasses off again so we, we're not gonna work with lens flare okay if you bleed take your shirt put it in your pants and then tear it into a rag okay to stop the bleeding but for now we're just gonna use our map okay so map is number five and we can go to first person by pressing F1 or basically scrolling with our mouse wheel then we're going to use tab to always lift something that we've got in our hands and we're going to first of all try and figure out where we are okay now I'm going to leave the map you know the map reading to you guys but I know where I am as you can see there's a lot of um, bases out there so what I can basically do is I can go to um, Woodhaven side to get a campsite there but I'm going to go to um, my favorite camping location to get um, the basic gear that I want and I'm just going to stand in this bush quickly and to not die okay and tell you guys what to focus on right at the beginning all you're going to focus on is equipment you're going to want a rag and a rope and a rag and a rope okay because we want a horseshoe pack and a fanny pack to give us eight extra slots because at the moment we've only got six slots okay then after that we're going to need to craft a hatchet as a defensive weapon against a player or a mutant and we can chop trees with a hatchet to get wood from it and then we're going to get a pickaxe to get rocks and various materials for base building and at some point we're probably going to have extra sticks and thatch so that we can craft a fire drill if we're unlucky with a fire drill and then at some point we're going to need to craft a torch as well because we want to go into caves and a torch is a very great melee weapon and gives you light in caves to get to that great loot and we're going to need to a hammer to get scrap metal from cars to craft furnaces and things like that in our base which is very important for progressing our base okay now basically i'm going to press h to put my weapon away and in bushes these kinds of bushes that you see right here okay these these large um freaky looking bushes is where you're going to get thatch and sticks from okay you're going to get sometimes nothing but 70 percent of the time you're going to get thatch and then other times you're going to get sticks okay so we're just running through the bushes if we die it's fine because we've got nothing on us we've got nothing to lose so if we die we're just going to respawn at a different location so we're just running through the bushes to get the to get thatch and sticks and i'll show you guys why we need the thatch okay so again just taking our time walking through the bushes you know if somebody kills us it's fine but this is our first um, objective if we spawn in a location that doesn't have bushes then we're gonna have to go to camping sites or other locations like towns or um, houses to get um, rags from but let's just see how much stats we've got we've got 16 already and four sticks and that's what you get from bushes okay and then we go to equipment and we go to components that because um, we need these uh, basically in equipment to get the bags and the tools we need the components okay and you can see two thatch gives us rags so we craft four rags and then with four rags we can craft the rope 
Okay, and then we need one more, one more rag, and then immediately we can craft a warship pack, which is our first objective. Okay, for inventory space. So we've got that, and now we figure out um, a rope is four rags. That's eight thatch plus two thatch. That's ten thatch. We don't have ten thatch. So what's the best um, best course of action? Is just to craft two fire lighters okay so that we can make a fire if we want to make a fire unfortunately we can't stack it yet but it's fine okay let's just throw that one away and let's go to the camping site because um, the fanny pack is great but a hatchet is going to be much more important to help us survive mutant attacks okay and I play on a very hardcore server, so my main objective here will be sh to show you guys that in the beginning, if you haven't got a hatchet, then I want you to stay away from um, mutants because all players, okay, because they're going to hurt you quite a lot. And if you're not experienced yet, um, you know, you can lose a lot of health. And anything, anything like this that comes your way, okay, without a weapon, I just want you to ignore it. If something's chasing you, just run. And if you can see it's a spider, you know, just run away because this is basically a cockroach. But if you run away, it's just going to ignore you at some point. And if it's a spider, you know, he's going to turn around at some point as well. Or he's going to blow up at some point, okay? So let's just see. I think we got quite a quite a bit of uh, thatch there. So yes, we can go to our components again. Craft five. Craft the rope. Okay, and we need that. We need that tool. We need the hatchet for a basic defensive item. So we we've got the stick and we've got the rope. We need one rock. Okay, now rocks you can usually get around rocks, like if you just look down at the floor um, near rocks, you can sometimes get rocks. If you don't see any rocks, you know, in the area, then next to roads are also very good, like this gravel surface. Okay, if we go in, um, if we just zoom in, then on this kind of surface, you can get rocks. And don't search anything without that popping up okay except for the bushes okay but when you're looting normally you need that to pop up so let's craft the hatchet and yes try and not stand still a lot but like i say you know we've got nothing to lose so it's not that major okay we've got a hatchet and a warship pack so now we can get started okay and if you find vehicle parts that isn't too heavy pick it up because there are um, quads in the game that can you know that you can drive around with if you want to to have more fun and then crannies are extremely great for ammo okay anywhere where you see a cranny just remember any cranny can give you great ammo and other items as well but the main purpose of a cranny is it's got a very high percentage of giving you ammunition for guns okay which is great and again on a populated server a lot of the places are going to be looted which gives you a completely different experience because on empty servers most of the spawns are active and you can get items um, but it looks like these areas have been searched so let's just move on Okay, here we are at our second house, and we've got a weapon. If we see a player or a mutant, we can kill them. If they've got a gun, and we spot them from a distance away, we can run away. Okay, so if the player hasn't got a gun on him, you can run away. And that's a tranquilizer gun, but we don't have any ammunition. So for now, let's leave the tranquilizer gun. You can, you can um, let a person pass out with one headshot. But we don't have ammunition, so it's better for us to just just to aim for um, a pistol or something. Bathrooms are great for various items like um, adrenaline, 
like in this cabinet you can get a medical there's a medical spawn point in a lot of these cabinets and, and in a lot of bathrooms and in bathrooms where you see medical equipment any of these items can spawn on that point adrenaline anti-rad pills potassium pills antibiotics aspirin bandage heat packs water purification tablets and rub, rubbing alcohol and all those items have got a really really great purpose but in any case, I'm going to go to my camping site now and see if I can get any luck. Be with you guys. Be back right now. No. Okay, guys. Um, I'm in another open house, but at least there's a few items here. Kitchens are extremely great for food and survival um, tools like salt. Um, can make, can let you purify meat that you get from deer and other animals okay and make sure you you look at every single cabinet because if there's a scroll wheel then you can get it okay and just make sure you're very thorough because there are players that don't look at everything and they might miss you know some really some really great items so we're just making sure that we're looking at everything trash has also got items which you're going to need in the beginning okay and then again right here there's a rope okay somebody missed that rope and that rope is going to help us a heck of a lot because with the rope now we know we don't need to get those rags so what we're going to do is craft our fanny pack okay and we've got the basics okay that's the amount of slots that we can have open by ourselves and now searching for backpacks and stuff like that is going to help us and always look on top of things again here this is a medical spawn point here so you can get things there sometimes and you can get things in the zinc never drink dirty water and yes let's skip the houses for now and go straight to my favorite camping area okay guys so the main reason i rushed the camping area is because i know i can get blue mushrooms here okay and i don't want to give you guys any kind of fuzziness um, on the recording so i'm going to go for it and i'm not going to let this mutant stop me and when you've got a weapon, you don't need to fear one mutant at all. If they maul, then it's fine. But I'm just going to hit him on the head. And then hit him on the head. And he's out. Okay? So all you want to do is if he runs up, time your shot to hit him on the head. Move back until he tries to hit you. And then when he stands up again, you hit him again. Because if he's against you and you hit him, and you want to hit him again, sometimes he ducks down as you want to hit him. Causing you to miss that second headshot and then he gets off more than one shot on you okay but clearly you can see with this method he can only hit you once okay which helps a lot with um, with getting accurate headshots and then again lumber you're going to use for base building okay so anywhere where you can get lumber get the lumber okay if a spider pops out then just go away okay the spider is going to explode he's not going to follow you forever but they do pop out when especially when you're searching these lumber items okay like there they they love popping out there and i'm just going to run away i don't think you can get up the ste steps okay you can so i'm just going to run away and then he's going to explode okay make sure you're quite far away from the spider because his blast radius is quite um high and don't okay i don't want those spark plugs um don't worry about the about the lumber because you can carry come on where's the where's the mark where's the mark okay you can carry you can see it. the lumber only weighs two kilograms out of the 40 that you have this is of course very heavy but we're going to see if we can find a quad or something um but yes don't worry every st um it just build up one stack of 64 lumber and that's going to help you a lot when you start building a base i mean a plot sign only takes two lumber and you, you can build a basic base with the 64 parts that you get okay now of course a machete 
Um, the hatchet does 30 damage. This machete does 40 damage. So we rather want to use that for a melee weapon. And like I say, the cabinets are great for lighters and matches. You know, things to make fire. So now we can throw away this fire drill as well. Because we got a lighter and matches. And we can light something 18 times the lighter. So having the matches is actually a waste. Okay. So we already freed up um, two items there. Um, rub with rotten apples is to have base parts that can poison people. And you can add it to arrows to poison people as well. But because I'm giving you um, the way that I think you should play. Um, we're going to focus on rubbing alcohol and oil to make our arrows do fire damage. Okay, literally set people on fire. And that's going to help a lot. Okay, in my opinion, it's the most potent way to kill someone and to follow him, even when it's dark, you know, especially when it's dark. I mean, at night, and I am going to play at night. I'm not going to just play through the daytime. I'll set the brightness to a different level. Okay, what is this? A spider. Okay, I don't really want to mess around with the spider. I can hit him, but if I miss, he's going to damage me quite a lot. So yeah, not messing around with the spider. Searching everything, looking for hidden places, because you do get hidden places. Looking at the crannies for ammunition. Okay, we don't need to focus on the electrical parts yet. And looking inside cabinets for um, gear and you do get weapons on top of cabinets like that you do get ammunition and stuff inside of drawers so it's very important to look very carefully and yes um, this is the kind of start that you want okay and I'm not gonna make these videos longer than 20 minutes so yeah I'm gonna try and end rather sooner than later and just for inst interest, let's see if somebody has taken the quad. Because I did tell you guys that there are um, blue mushrooms here. You know, and I don't want to lie to you guys. Or I don't want you guys to think, hey, where's that quad that you were talking about? Um, clothing items are, of course, great. But we're not finding any clothing items. These locations are great for rags. Because most of the sleeping bags um, gives you rags. And there we got a helmet so the tents are good for helmets as well and a helmet can can definitely protect you way better gives you much better protection than a cap and again don't search something unnecessarily you don't want a spider on you for nothing okay and there's a black headband now I don't want the black headband, but I can turn the black headband into repair kit if, if any of my clothing is damaged, but it's not. So I'm just going to turn it into a rag. But let's finish this video. Garages are great for vehicle parts and base parts. Okay, just checking around. Getting the lumber. Every um, stack gives you two lumber. Okay, the quad isn't here. Okay, so somebody's taking the quad. And now we're going to look for the mushrooms, okay, because there are locations here, or there are spots here that gives us mushrooms. And, okay, not today. Okay, we can get barbed wire, okay, from these uh, fences. We can get chickens in the chicken coops and we can get eggs inside here as well. Okay, but the eggs don't really help us. I mean, it's three food, um, one fluid, but there's 12% chance to get poisoned. Okay, so we don't really want to use eggs, even if we boil them. We still don't want to use them. And it looks like all the quads are taken. We can farm food with crops that we can make at our base as well. And beehives are great to get um, honey from, honeycombs, which can give you food as well, okay? But there's nothing in there. So let's just finish this area, and from here I'm going to go to the swamp, because I want to get rid of this radiation, okay? So let's see, cranny, it's a bandage, okay? Didn't give us ammo, but it's fine. The crannies gives us great items. We've got uh, four extra slots from the sleeveless vest which is absolutely fantastic we've got rubbing alcohol 
So if we get um, oil, which we will definitely get somewhere, then... Tan gloves, tan gloves. Okay, the tan gloves. Let's turn this into repair kit. Let's repair those gloves. I can hear an aeroplane. Um, and if it's close to me, we're going to hunt down that aeroplane in the next episode. Okay, cranny. What's that? Bandage. Okay. Like I say, jumping for joy is always a good idea. And always, you know, the difference between you and another player is that you are looking at everything and maybe he misses something. Okay, looking at beds can give you hidden spots. Looking at... Here comes someone. We're going to talk to him. If we can. Hey buddy, I'm friendly, eh? Are you friendly? Okay, he's not... Okay, guys. He's not answering us, so we're not going to talk to him anymore. And we're going to run away. Again, there is an airdrop. We've got a bigger backpack, so that's nice. There's the airplane, and there is the drop. Okay. So clearly the drop is way too far away from us. We're not going to get there with running, so we don't care about the drop in any case. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please press the like button. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, because this is going to be the ultimate guide for Misgraded, and I'm going to teach you everything okay that you need to know and show you a lot of action and we're always going to be on Germ germany 5 um, and we're always going to make sure the server is populated okay if any of you want to join me on german 5 if you're playing on other um, uk servers and you want to come and try and hunt me down or raid my base or you know you just want to be at, on the same server as me and maybe run into me it's fine come and join me guys because i'm going to finish this guide until we are fully geared with the best equipment there is okay kiosks are basically just where we put in our if we've got fully repaired items and we've got um i'm just gonna let this deer run away from me if we've got fully repaired items we get m coins currency in the game that we can put our items into the kiosk and into our steam inventory to basically use on other servers okay so if i put a gun into that kiosk and i go to another server i can take th that gun out of that kiosk or whatever i want and i'm going to chase this deer down because he's going to stand still at some point okay and the reason i want to kill the deer is to get the meat from him okay and basically there is the radiation spot that we're going to go to so i'm going to end it here in the next episode, I'll be at that site and I'll, I'll get a blue mushroom beforehand. And yeah, um, let me, let, let, let's, let, okay, let's, let's give it another 30 seconds so that I can show you what a swamp looks like and what mushrooms are for. Okay, so here we're at the swamp, guys. You can see the swamp shows you dead kind of trees, okay, and uh, uh, well, there's always water at a swamp but you can see a swamp by the dead trees and by swamps you get mushrooms and all you have to do is run around the water and you can get a mushroom and then blue mushrooms can reduce your radiation okay so that mushroom is going to work for five minutes so even if i had higher radiation it will cure the radiation and while it's curing the radiation i can fill myself up with water from any water source, I mustn't drink. You see that that torpidity? Never drink if that torpidity is activated. Otherwise, you're going to puke your guts out. But because we've taken the blue mushroom, you know, we can drink that water because the radiation that we picked up from the water is going to get healed in any case. So it was actually good that I had radiation on me to show you, you know, what effect it has. But, and then here is an edible mushroom. That's the second kind of mushroom you can get here. It's great because it's a great source of food. And, you know, there's no radiation to it. Unlike food that you get in houses. 
And somewhere here is an apple tree. And apple trees gives you clean food as well. Okay, so two great resources for food. There are berry bushes as well, which I'll show you later. Again, we're not going to make the poison arrows. Okay, so there our radiation will be cured now. Boom, give me the message. There, anti red pills have worn off because I'm fully cured. And the third mushroom that you can get is a healing mushroom. Now, healing mushrooms are great because if you've got... You can make um, advanced bandages with a healing mushroom and a water bottle. Okay. Um, let's just check. Mo there's mostly um, vehicle parts in here. Dog food is great. And there's these rope piles as well, which helps a a lot. Okay, let's leave that war alone. There's a fireplace. There's again the lumber, which is great. Rope, come on, come on. Okay. There's three rope piles here. Unfortunately, we didn't get rope. But we can get rope piles in there. Okay. Pair of pants. Nothing is damaged. Okay, that is damaged, but I don't think that's going to take... Um, not going to be repaired with this. Okay, at least we can repair the stove pack. That's nice. Oh, oh, yep. That's it. So we got a shotgun. Um, we got slugs, two slugs, and we've got an iron sight. Okay, and we definitely don't want to use this on a mutant because we've already got holy shit. We've already got um, things that will help us. So what we're going to do now is throw off this backpack, take the rugged bag, and just click on everything to transfer it. And then what we want to do is we want to throw this off, pick that up, turn that into a repair kit, waste not, want not, okay? And then we can see if we can use that, we can keep that repair kit for later. Okay, but now we're already a force to be reckoned with because we can kill anyone that wants to try and kill us. Oh, rope. Energy drink. Fantastic, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, if you like this episode, press the like button. If you want to be... Um, notified of future e episodes which is going to be epic in this epic fucking game press the bell button and see you guys later